As I travel all through the world in search of the most authentic of ingredients, I come across little places where they are the most unassuming human beings and they have these flavors with them that have been handed down from generation to generation. I love interacting and creating a twist with own cuisine and bringing it to each one of you. Let's explore together. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Own Cuisine, authentic, universal, meditative. I'm going to be making something so wonderful today with the Chinese daikin, which has been really cut into beautiful spirals. It looks like lovely hair. So in a very, very hot pan, we're going to be putting in some coconut oil. And to that coconut oil, I'm going to splatter some mustard seeds. Mustard seeds have a very, very lovely flavor and I love using mustard seeds for dishes like this because, you know, we're really going vegan paleo here because all this is just vegetables, you know, it has absolutely no rice. So, as these mustard seeds splatter, I'm going to be adding in some cumin seeds and cumin seeds are a fabulous digestive. And to that, some ginger and some green chilies. It already smells fantastic. And I'm going to be putting in some curry leaves. Curry leaves have lots of iron in it. And to that, some red onions. I really want to warm this up really well and allow the onions to caramelize. this I'm going to be putting in some broken black gram dal, just a teeny bit, not too much. So we are still technically paleo, you know, so it is tasty. And to that some red chili flakes. You can increase the red chili flakes if you do like a little bit more of the heat, but since I've already put in the green chilies, I don't want to go overboard. And to this, I'm going to be putting in about three cloves of cut up garlic. Garlic, as you know, is a fantastic antibacterial. It's been raining here the past couple of days. So we really do want to not have any types of sniffles and things like that. So since I'm going to be using this unbelievably amazing white daikin or the Chinese radish or Muli or Mulangi, which is all this lovely stuff, um, which by the way is a fantastic antibacterial, it's absolutely good. So I'm going to be putting in some turmeric, and I always say put in your spices together for the real fragrance of the spice as well as the quality of the spice to come alive. And then I'm going to be putting in some mint leaves. And after I put in the mint leaves, I'm going to be throwing in a little bit of the desiccated coconut. For all of that to warm up nicely together. At this juncture, a little bit of coconut oil. And it's time to put in what I'm calling the moodles. <laughs> it's mooly. So things that get you in the mood without the cow. So that's the noodles. Put the noodles right through. It's going to cook really lovely. They look like little white crescents. They're so pretty. There's nothing like, you know, bringing together the flavors of India and mixing them with really healthy vegetables. Just watch that color change beautifully. So I'm going to be pouring in some water, just to soften it up a little bit. You don't have to put a lid on or anything, it will just soak in a very short period of time, maybe a couple of minutes. I 
I absolutely love this recipe. It looks so exotic. And at the same time, you're getting in a lot of the fabulous benefits of daikin into your diet. It's very good for supporting your kidneys. It's a fantastic detox vegetable. And more than anything else, it's a fabulous antibacterial and an antifungal. So it's just a very good thing to have when the rains come down. And, you know, this could be really a healthy version instead of having a flu vaccine. So let's give that about two minutes and then it is time to plate up. Okay, so that's softening up really well. At this juncture, I'd like to add some asafoetida or hing, just a little pinch and a half maybe would do. Some salt to taste. And then I'm gonna be adding in some more desiccated coconut and some cilantro. And I'm gonna to toss all of that together and turn off the stove. Beautiful. After you've done that, it's time to add some lemon juice. So I'm gonna add some lemon juice to this. You don't ever want to add lemon juice when it is hot on the stove. It turns bitter. So simple, so exquisite, so easy to make, and yummy. So I'm gonna put that in there with the plate like so. Yummy. Beautiful. A little bit more of the desiccated coconut on top. A teeny weeny bit of cilantro. So, a taste test. My goodness, it looks so good. Um, gonna do maybe a little bit of that, okay? Mmm, perfect. Mmm, it has the dash of lemon. Lovely crunch. It's taken the flavor of all that spice beautifully. And it's super healthy for you. Until we meet again in another episode of Own Cuisine, this is Vagi Priyanka.